2012 Jeep Wrangler Sport, one owner, walk around video. As mentioned, Jeep's a one owner, all stock, all original, just beautiful body, paint, undercarriage, never had any modifications, adult owned, clean Carfax, good service records, non-smoker, just a really nice, clean, original Jeep. originally got sold in New Jersey, uh, then the remainder of its life it's been in South Carolina. Jeep's always been garaged. Jeep's a really cool color you don't see too often. Uh, Jeep called it Crush. Obviously orange, got a slate gray interior. Sorry, it sounds like I'm really windy here. Anyways, crush exterior, uh, slate gray interior. Uh, as mentioned, this is a sport package. All the sports came with the matte black fender flares, bumper covering, uh, black uh, matte mirrors, door handles. Just a really cool contrast with the uh, orange crush exterior. But a pretty unique Jeep in the sense of obviously the rare color and it's just loaded with factory options. Uh, sport package as mentioned, got a factory hardtop with full metal doors. Uh, it's got what's called the power convenience group with power windows, power door locks, tilt wheel, cruise control. Has factory Mopar uh, body side steps very nice they actually tie back into the fender flares uh, factory tow hooks fog lights and skid plates this does have uh, the 285 horsepower Pentastar V6 just a fantastic engine prior years had a 3.8 V6 good engine uh, but when they went to this engine it was almost an 85 horsepower boost big difference those wheels were an option those are the 17 inch what they called the Moab alloy wheel does have a matching uh, spare tire and wheel Got traction control, four wheel disc brakes, tinted glass in the hardtop, which this hardtop option is really cool in these years. Uh, this has what's called the Freedom Panels. So basically, these upper panels can detach individually, or you can take them off as a pair, obviously. So, for all intents and purposes, when you have these front panels off, you feel like you're in a convertible. Or you can obviously remove the entire hardtop, just a little bit more of a process, but still very easy to do. Uh, it's got rear defrost, but I didn't already mention that. There's your rear tow hook.
uh, does have Mopar premium sound with CD, uh, does have Bluetooth, has what Mopar called the connectivity group, which basically you can manipulate your stereo. Uh, it's got a compass, miles to empty. It's got a timer on it, uh, your cruise control settings and whatnot. Here's all your headlight switch. It's how you manipulate the fog lights. Uh, that is a optional leather wrap steering wheel. But very fresh on the interior. No weird smells, non-smoker. No kids, no dogs. Just very clean inside the door jams. Paint is, in fact, all original. Passenger side. Rear seating area, very nice. Really doesn't look like it's been used. Uh, this does have, as well, the factory, what they call the sound bar, where the speakers are actually integrated into the roll bar just a fantastic sound system even by today's standards but all your door strikers are nice not corroded faded All your rubber weather stripping, still not nice, soft, pliable, not dry rotted. Up under the doors, I mean, there's zero rust on this truck, just a, a beautiful body. I'll show you the other carriage in a minute. It does have, by the way, all of your correct data tags, uh, your tire information, specs, size pressures, whatnot. Got the correct Mopar build tag with color code, axle ratio. does also have, if I didn't mention, uh, outside heated mirrors, which really do come in handy. There's all your center stack, power window controls, AC, ventilation, whatnot. Rear compartment area, very clean. This does have a fold down seat, really easy process. Does two motions, you can fold it all the way forward, gives you quite a bit of cargo on the back. And then as well, if you needed all of this space, both vertically and this direction, uh, this seat pops out pretty easily. But it's a pretty good amount of storage space. Factory full padded roll bar. It's got another stowage compartment in the back. Just you get in the nooks and the crannies of this Jeep. I mean, even inside the tailgate, not all hacked and beat up from people hauling cargo. Shows no evidence whatsoever of having been off road. And overall, I mean, you walk around it, I mean, it's really void of any, you know, overly abnormal, you know, a few touch-up marks I'll show you in a minute. Um, but, you know, no parking lot dings, no karate chops. Uh, consistency of the paint is very nice. 
as mentioned it was garage you know it looks like over the course of the years it's been waxed regularly a couple of the flaws Yeah, picking at it, I mean, you're going to see to be expected just for the age and the miles. I mean, it's got a few minuscule touch-up marks. And I'm being hard on it. Got one right there on the grill. does have like a, a hairline scratch it's been touched up you really got to kind of hunt for it but it's there probably about five inches long but it's it's minor I don't know if you can see that but it's got a very minor touch-up mark there But again, not to be redundant, I mean, it just presents itself really well. I mean, not sound cliche, but I mean, it looks like a two or three year old Jeep. And just exceptional undercarriage. Never been lipstick, never been undercoated, never been painted. You know, still has all the correct Mopar chassis scribings, rear control arm scribings. Uh, as well, I forgot to mention, this does have the heavy-duty Dana 44 rear differential. It's got a few tasteful updates. Uh, we actually added these cow covers, just really protects these front uh, tops of the cowl itself or if ever you want to take the doors off or if your door strap uh, breaks when you look at these things and they've got dents here it's because this mirror is flailed forward and hit that but it looks cool and it, it performs a job Got some tasteful aftermarket uh, rear tail light covers. Uh, that's a Mopar black uh, gas fill cover. Driver side chassis. And prior to bringing it to market, uh, frankly, we don't have to do much of this Jeep. We did a uh, Virginia State Safety Inspection, did an oil change, tire rotation, and a general cleanup. I mean, it was very apparent. Uh, previous owner had been taking very good care of it. Just strikes me as if it needed it. They did it over the years. Yeah, bottom line, if you're looking for a very unique colored, hard-loaded JK Wrangler with the upgraded uh, Pentastar 285 horsepower motor, you know, hard top automatic air conditioning, all kinds of power options, no accidents, clean Carfax, beautiful chassis, does not appear to have been off-road, haven't been in the hands of a kid, never pounded on, just a, a really good candidate. Keep it on your list.